And I'm very happy to introduce you to a tool that is very much needed at this time. Let me tell you what I have in my mind and uh, also what is needed uh, at this time, and which is not available at this time. That's why it is so relevant that I talk about this tool, this tool that can bring uh, the old wisdom with on par with the science. For us living in the 21st century, it is very difficult to relate to God or religion because it's uh, simply we cannot relate to that because we are too much into science. And that is a very limited uh, uh, approach to knowledge or wisdom. I'll tell you, I'll give you an example that they are not really opposite to one another, religion and, and science. Uh, why? All that you have to do is just, I want to quickly go over this so that I don't waste too much time on theories. I was reading uh, something which, uh, a lot of things, in fact, about the Old Testament and the Apocalypse. Uh, part of New Testament too. And comparing it what NASA has to say about the apocalypse, the sun and uh, what the sun is doing and what how disastrous it can be to the survival of our planet. So it's exactly the same. The Bible says the sun will become dark and then everything will be gone and then eventually even the sun will be gone. But it attributes this happening uh, to God. Uh, and now the scientist is attributing this to uh, a natural happening in the cosmos. So that is the only difference. So how did the uh, prophets knew about the sun becoming dark and disappearing and then the world will be ending? How did they know? Not through science. No, it is through uh, an understanding uh, which transcends rationality. It is the knowledge or wisdom directly from God, the divine being. Why am I saying this? Because we have to, number one, we have to do is somehow be able to relate to what is happening, understand what is Godhead, and also if there are different gods coming into being at different times, yes, true. It is a cyclical thing as far as uh, the Hindu uh, concept of God is concerned. One God never remains forever. At every uh, uh, yuga, yuga means a lot and a, a period of time that comprises of uh, thousands or tens of thousands of years. And then the world goes through this cycle and the new beings come into being. And you would be able to relate to those gods because they are more dependable, more you can relate to them more because they understand the need of the time. And that God or goddess is Varahi. Varahi is the God that can that understands the predicament of 
the scientific mind uh, of our uh, current uh, period on this earth plane. So we cannot trust in God. So that God has to do something to earn our trust. Uh, what does that mean? It means the God or goddess, whoever that is, has to perform and satisfy us. See, this is, uh, you know, uh, very important to know. And this is my being on this earth plane is to bring religion and science together, which Einstein also uh, very precisely said our science is lame and our religion is uh, blind. So if they come, come together, we can have a great, uh, you know, tool. And that is exactly what uh, I've been involved in doing. So what I'm saying is Warahi is the God that has just descended because uh, and has become has become so popular. Uh, and uh, one uh, thing that I can say about the goddess is is no nonsense God, no unnecessary uh, long rituals, no waiting for a long time, no challenges for our for to satisfy our intellect. And then it is very easy to contact her. With all the challenges I have listed, and I'm going to talk about it and give you a proper understanding in the on April 15th, I'm going to do uh, uh, an exclusive seminar on Varahi and how to use it and how to benefit from the new goddess, not exactly new goddess, but the goddess that existed uh, prior to this, uh, I know, during the golden age. So the golden age is coming before, before that there will be a lot of destruction. So we are ahead of it. Uh, in in uh, in uh, getting to know about the goddess and use her for our own benefit. So the one of the things is that we need is to understand fast track time. The fast food concept also uh, started coming uh, when we are at the end of this Kali Yuga. So everything we want is fast. One of the molecules, you know, I'm involved in uh, cancer research and I discovered a molecule and invented a molecule that will work very fast. You know, the, the time uh, for its penetration into the body, into the cells is so fast, faster, unimaginably fast in femtosecond, which is the quarterlyth of a second. And that's the uh, one thing. Yeah that I have been obsessed on is fast, 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 fast track. So it's a fast track femto goddess. Okay. And uh, uh, so we have to get used to that, the, you know, consciousness or psychology has to be used to, has to uh, be used to that. And unfortunately, some of the rituals that Hinduism is still uh, able to keep, although we have gone through different uh, time periods, is uh, uh, some of the uh, approaches, uh, tools, uh, rituals. Uh, we will, we, you know, they do not take a long time to practice. So I will introduce them to you. So the first thing is you should be able to trust the god or goddess. And that part will be facilitated by uh, Varahi. You can talk to, I will give you one example, which will, uh, there was, there is a, a person who is uh, talking to the goddess. You can talk to the goddess. Although, oh, you know, it is very difficult for us to imagine that because how can you talk to the goddess? You are not a prophet. No, it's not that. Now, uh, metaverse, metaverse is everybody's uh, uh, familiar with, with uh, 
recent developments in virtual technology with the goggles and so forth you can go to your you can create your own metaverse a 3d person you can be talking to the possibilities are immense you can talk to anyone create that person and then talk to that person all that you need is a goggle but uh, you know it becomes so real to you so that is that technology is very similar to the technology the uh, people in the golden age uh, are going to oh, have they had it when the during the last time uh, we had the golden age the golden age interaction with the divine uh, took place in a realistic way just not through a goggle or anything but the goggle is very important it is going to lead to that it is going to lead to that you know that's why everybody is afraid of the modern science especially ai where are we going to go but at least uh, let me not go into there because today is we are very we are in a uh, in a desperate need uh, to fix our personal problems and the problems uh, uh, we are facing with the climate etc all this can uh be uh mitigated if not solved through uh varahi uh the ability to talk to her and then tell her hey i'm going to lose trust in you but you are the most trustworthy person you talk to her as if we are wearing a goggle in a metaverse and then talk to that other person i know that you are trustworthy i have you are there for us and you have demonstrated that but it looks like i am losing faith because i am nothing is happening to me can you do something which is in your in your domain to change my uh skepticism my doubt and how do you change it by performing by doing a miracle for me because miracle for me is a, uh not believable and uh, nor does it happen either so what you can do is you are living in a different dimension we are lost in the three dimensional world so this is a prayer that will satisfy your intellect that will bring a reality which is beyond intellect an interaction with a being that can go to not only 10 dimensions but infinite dimensions and then raise you up to that dimension and then uh, uh, enable you to converse uh with the dimension and then uh get uh results okay this is how uh the future a uh, religion is going to be okay and varaki is the number one who is willing to uh, work with you because that is part of uh, uh her uh, um, uh being here in the very early time or the pre dawn time of the golden age and uh, which will experience apocalypse on the one hand and also uh, this uh, transition into the golden age so the good news is don't depend on the old mind the skeptical mind uh, the skeptical uh, you know the doubtful uh, consciousness which is very innate to the 21st century uh human beings so that is what is going all that we have to do the mantras are going to work better now the mantras uh were created 
during the Satya Yuga, golden age, it worked at that time. And then, and then we were, uh, we went through many degraded uh, levels of uh, vibrations representing what is outside and what is inside in our consciousness. So our bodies uh, got degraded, uh, our mind got degraded in the environment and in the, in the uh, uh, the external reality also uh, uh, exhibited uh, corruption, uh, you know, and uh, time also became a challenge. All these will be uh, changed. So, even to say the sound wa ra he, you know, I wanted this particular session that I'm doing with you be useful to you, you know, even uh, so that you don't have to waste time to wait for the 15th of April. Uh, wa, th the moment you say the sound wa, there will be a response. I can prove it through um, so many scientific studies, but that will take time. There is no need. Uh, we are living in a metaverse, okay. Wa, wa is, is, a, is a password to contact this divinity, Varahi, wa. She has no option but to respond. Ra, tremendous amount of energy that accompanies with it. And when you combine these two, uh, there is one set of uh, response to the individual sound wa, and then there is another set of response when you combine wa with ra. Similarly, ra also has its own uh, value uh, and response. So wa ra is <clears throat> Come, 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 come with tremendous amount of energy, light, and heat. He, and then now, uh, yeah, give us happiness, bliss, the fulfillment all. Through how? Through a boon. That uh, sound also carries a boon. What is a boon? Boon is uh, a blessings from a divine being living in. Uh, the extra dimensions where it is not difficult to manifest instantaneously. So Varahi is a thought manifestation, a thought and, uh, and uh, object are one and the same. Think and thing, T-H-I-N-K, think and thing, it's not an accident that they have similar sound except the word G and K, uh, the sound K and G, and even there is a relationship between K and G linguistically. Uh, let's not go into that. So, or one dimension versus three dimension. Okay, we can go, uh, you know, we are three dimensional beings. So, the, the, the boons that we want are, are in terms of three dimensions. Uh, so, we want a house. It's not right to say it is uh, house. I said house, so I have a house, and I imagine that I live in a house. But that is not enough. We have to live in a house, really, uh, you know, in three dimensionally, and uh, that is uh, how we relate to reality. Is we cannot keep on living in metaverse, you know, because once you take the goggle, you know, everything is gone. No. Yeah, so there is a requirement to uh, uh, what I call as I coined a word called matterization of a thought. You have to matterize a thought. It become has to become a matter, and uh, uh, the matterization is uh, uh, a technology uh, known to uh, this Earth goddess the goddess who relates to the earth is Varahi. She is an earth goddess as 
as much as the goddess from the heavens but she is more uh, of the earth goddess so all that uh, what she is going to do so for now so what you have to do you have to do varahi you know close your eyes and then listen varahi varahi just wait for at least 30 seconds to a minute for her to uh, respond she is responding but uh, our skeptical doubtful mind requires that 30 seconds or a minute uh, waiting there will be some uh, electrical energy flowing through your body mind varahi the sound will take you beyond your doubts skepticism to a domain of thought matter amalgamation thought matter amalgamation and unity va va ra hi va ra hi don't rush wait experience and then move that waiting period is very important the bible talks about wait on god and feel his presence you should not pray if there is no presence if there is no response there will be a response okay what if we doesn't or she doesn't respond i will talk about all of this about 10 items and to talk about i need uh at least an hour uh so i will i will do it on the 15th the whole technology behind varahi and how the process of materialization in the context of the golden age uh, and how to uh, uh understand the universe differently the earth plane differently and our consciousness differently i'm very thankful to arahi for being here for us to solve our physical problems in a physical way through an enlightened prayer tool an enlightened perceptual tool that we need to relate to uh, a being that is available to help us god bless